Hello and welcome by this tutorial. Um, today we're going to talk a bit about texturing using Photoshop, making them tileable, um, then get them into Crazy Bump to distract the normal information and make normal maps, which will be used by the UDK to extract the depth, depth information, then importing them and what steps you should uh, take into consideration, and then how to combine them all in one into one shader network. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all we're going to need a texture and for textures I usually go to myyoung.com they have free textures you can use uh, without any problems worrying about licensing, uh, fees, stuff like that. Yeah, he all makes them himself and it's a great site. He has like a few thousand images there. Anyway, I feel like getting a wood texture today, so let's see what might be a good one. Not too much specular. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Let's make it full screen. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Okay. Now that you have selected your texture, um, go and save it any way you want. And after that, open it in your in Photoshop. Yeah, I already have it opened here. Now, the texture itself already seems a bit tileable. You can see some lines here and here that roughly come together. There's just one small problem, or small problem. There's going to be a few problems, but we'll discover that on the way. Okay, first of all, we're going to offset it and that uh, we get this effect and how you do that is by selecting the layer go to filter other and offset and then you get the desired result uh, just keep in mind that uh, the image size uh, 2560 by 1920 you have to divide it by 2 and you have to uh, put that into the offset horizontal and vertically and keep the settings to wrap around so it will automatically put four squares in every corner now you all might already notice that the color difference is big very big this is way darker than this area and this line is totally off setting this line I mean you can already see this is not going to tile Although here and here and even here it's already tiling quite well. Okay, now what we're going to do is already did some work here. We're going to use the clone stamp tool. For this by <laughs> actually we're going to zoom a bit in. I'm using Alt and Scroll for that and we're just going to select let's say this area here I'm going to increase it a bit give it a bit of a feather and I'm going to decrease the opacity and you will see uh, no nope, that's not it a bit lower a bit less okay By doing this, it may take a while. There we go. You can actually remove these hard edges. What I also did with this picture is what well you can already see. I've pre-done this entire area, make making this tileable. So you can see a bit of color difference, but usually in a texture you're not going to notice it because you never get that close to it. And what I've also done is made it a bit lighter, so it's more into contrast with the other bottom half, and make it a bit darker for more contrast. So now the texture gets way more, uh, it's get gets way in more interesting. After you've done that, you can continue to the next section. That's making the bottom half correct. What I've actually done here is I've taken this line and this line and added them here and entirely remove this line 
Plus I use some information from here, here and here to paste it over here. But still the the lighting and the darkening is still occurring to make the texture more have more depth in it. Finally, resizing also very important. The engine only accepts uh, a power of two textures, and the previous texture wasn't. That one was uh, 2560 by 1920, and then the engine just says, "No, oh, I want to import it." So I resized that to 2000 by 2000, as you can see here, 2084 actually. It seems a bit cropped, but that's not going to be that much of a problem. After doing that, I did some more work on the, yeah you can see it's quite obvious here, this area. I noticed while uh, testing it, well I can show you actually, using Crazy Bump. Crazy Bump is another program, I will get into that uh, a bit later, not until now, but you can use open it, open the texture with Crazy Bump, and Crazy Bump will automatically uh, tile it already. So you can see where you would have a problem with the tiling. Okay. Would Oh, that's the wrong one. And this would be wood final. This one. Okay, now Crazy Bump is thinking. And you can select the shape. I'll get into that later. And there you go. Now, this is already looking pretty awesome. Crazy Bump does a good job in making it look good. So you might consider disabling ambient occlusion and parallax because usually, and uh, specular, that doesn't work on wood. Um, Parallax just does this. It displaces, depending on the information it gets from the diffuse file. It works, but UDK, or actually Unreal, doesn't handle it that well. Okay, now we have just a simple box here. And we're using plus and minus. You can see that we might have a bit of a tiling issue here. You can see this area is quite profound and you can see that it's still tiling. What you would actually want is something more of this nature. And there we go. Keep in mind this is the same texture. You can still see it's tiling here, here, here. But it's not as profound anymore. Plus usually wood would only tile about this much on the normal surface. Anyway, that was Crazy Bump. You can use that um, to quickly see whether the texture is tiling good or tiling perfectly. Okay, let's continue to the next one. So I removed that ugly, ugly area over here and actually just replaced it with some area from here and here. Then I did some tricky stuff. Let me disable the layers for you so you can clearly see what's going on here. From this, we're going to this. All right, keep in mind that I undid the um, the offset on this area, so it looks actually what you would see here is located here. Anyway, let's continue. So what I did. The texture was a bit too bland, too, too flat to be used into the engine. When we used this texture in the engine, it looked very mm, uninteresting, very boring actually. So the idea raised that we could use the same information, use an overlay, a soft light, and here an overlay to get more depth information get it way more interesting actually makes the texture a bit more yeah, I don't know dirty you could say but it gives it more detail and I offset it to make sure it was um, perfect so to speak and then the final product number seven there we go and that would be your final result you could of course get 
way deeper into this I'm just going to give you a quick overview that's how I made my tiling texture and made the made them look interesting okay um, that's all for now um, on the next video I will continue on uh, crazy bump and how you can find you the normals and the diffuse and then import them into UDK so Goodbye for now and hope we'll see you next time.